like you, I don't understand uh, why he was making that big movement to his right. The other thing that you would have to ask is why isn't Carl Hooper at first slip? Carl Hooper hasn't done a thing wrong. In fact, Gordon Greenwich has now gone to first slip. Lara has gone to uh, backward point. That's basically like uh, shutting the door after the, uh, the stable door after the horse has bolted. But uh, I don't understand why, if you've only got one slip, uh, Carl Hooper's not there. Have a look at this big hop to the right. And then he's got to go not far to his left, but if he hadn't taken that big hop, it would have been uh, straight in the bread basket. And Lara certainly hasn't been having a happy time in the slips of late either here. And his confidence will be pretty low. I think he dropped three catches in St. Vincent in the slips. And Carl Hooper has been doing well in the slips. Gordon Green is usually a very good slipper. With one slip, one of those two should have been there. The other question I'd have to ask, uh, Michael, what happened to the system? Why, why are the young blokes uh, in the slips? I mean, normally the old fellas go in the slips and the, the young fellas get sent out to the, uh, to the outer to do all the running around. Yes, that is true. The youngsters are usually the ones in the outfield chasing and the older fellas in the slips. Perhaps the older fellas aren't seeing it too well these days, yeah, and then they don't want to be in the slips. But Gordon Greenwich hasn't done anything wrong in the slips at all. You know, he's usually a very good slipper. He's back there now with Carl Hooper and Lara is now in the goalie position. Big shout from Malcolm Marshall and uh, umpire Archer has ended uh, Mark War's innings. Just uh, a raising of the right finger, not much. You definitely want to be looking very closely at umpire Archer when he gives you out. So Mark War's innings has ended at 64. This is one of those balls that darts back from outside off stump. Hit plumb in front. Jeffrey Dujon, the wicket keeper, standing directly behind the stumps. Obviously not going down the leg side. Blue Food rejoices. Australia now 7 for 2, 93. Craig McDermott comes in to join his Queensland teammate Ian Healy. We we're just talking about uh, the change in the system with young blokes being at first slip. Well, in the commentary position now, we have a couple of old fellows who definitely adhered to the system. Clive Lloyd and Greg Chappell certainly stayed in the slips and made the, uh, the young fellows do the running around. Thank you, Ian. I'm not sure about you, Clive, but I'm younger than Ian. I presume he's going by test matches, I suppose, in that age. Patrick Patterson bowling to Craig McDermott. He should be looking forward to that. He's taken his wicket three times so far in this series. That's one of the reasons why Patrick Patterson has the wood on Craig McDermott at the moment. Craig taking the eye off the short ball there. Patrick Patterson seems to have him a little bit wary. <coughs> Yes, this is another one that's dug in short and he's just taking his, his eyes off the ball there and um, just hits him in the rib, in the region of the rib and just probably just missing, I think it's just uh, going on to the offside. Um, Craig McDermott still not playing the cricket stuff too well. But as obviously there's no sort of rule against fast bowlers here. But, um, It's in the air and it's out. Richie Richardson taking the catch. Craig McDermott not sticking around very long. And Patrick Patterson has now taken his wicket four times in the series. And he has more than a, a physical advantage. He has a psychological advantage over Craig McDermott as well. Australia eight for 294. Sorry, this is Craig McDermott just having a, a go at anyone that is anything that is just short and he hits it straight to point and an easy catch um, to, Richie, to Richie Richardson. 